All right, guys, welcome back. We're here for another puzzle review. This one is called the Scube, and this is what it looks like. When you first look at it, you would think that the corners can turn, but that's not the case. And even if that would have been the case, just turning the corners will not mix up the cube. But thankfully, this is not how you mix it up. You have to take two corners or two halves of the cube and just twist them from each other just like this and this is how you mix it up and you just keep going until you think it's mixed up enough for you to solve it and um, we're gonna go ahead and review this cube first of all starting with its size again it's the same size as a 3 by 3 Rubik's cube on each side as well of course it's a cube and um, we're going to give it an equal sign because it's the exact same size next the turning quality well you might have heard it before when I was playing with it, but it does have a clicking sound. Here we go. At some places it gets kind of stuck, if I can say it like this. Like right about here, it sticks right here as well, and then you complete your turn. So there is two places while turning where it ticks and gets stuck a little bit. But that's just a clicking mechanism. It's not because the cube is faulty or something. It's just made like this. And it's made to act like that. So I can't really blame the cube. Even though it's kind of annoying. If you want to play and be quiet. You can't. Because it just makes a sound that's just awful to hear. If you're not the one playing with it. And even if you're the one. It still bugs me sometimes. So turning quality, it does turn great. It doesn't stick. So I'm going to give it a, again, a 7 on 10. Just because it's not perfect. I would like to get rid of the clicking sound. But it still does turn really great. I never lubed it. And I will not lube it. Because it doesn't need to be lubed. Next, the uh, popping quality. Well, it never popped on me while playing on it. So I think that's great. I don't even know if you can open it. I've tried to. I'm just afraid to uh, break it. I know that the center part can be removed, but it. I'm afraid to break it, that's all. All right, there we go. So you can remove the uh, center pieces first and then you can remove all the uh, corners and everything. But I had a hard time to do it. I really, really doubt that it could do it by itself while playing with it. Why? Because you have to press really hard on two opposite corners. Not opposite like this, but more like this on the same face. Press on it and then it will just... Oh, damn. Okay. It flew away. Alright. So, yeah. It will not happen while playing with it. I guarantee you. And even if it does... It won't do it that often unless you're playing with it like a maniac. But yeah, popping quality, again, 10 on 10 because it's really great and never or will never, probably not pop in your hands while playing with it. Difficulty. It's not that difficult. I've been using algorithm to solve it. I just can't remember what's the algorithm. I always have to look it up. So I would say I can't memorize it and do it by heart, which makes it kind of difficult for me because I need to always have internet or a piece of paper with the algorithm on it while solving it, which for me is difficult. But again, it, I don't think it's really difficult. Just memorize the algorithm and then you can solve it pretty quickly anywhere, anytime. So it's not really difficult as long as you know what the algorithms are. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 on 10 because it's not really difficult, but it's you, you need a, an algorithm to solve it. You can't just do it if you don't know what you're doing. All right, should you buy it? Should you not buy it? Here's the question. So I would say it's a fun puzzle. It moves in a funky kind of way, which is always cool to look at while solving it, but you get used to it. And that's most of its glory here, I think, is how it turns. Once you get used to it, it's not as special as it was before. Uh, again, it's fun to solve. You need to use algorithms unless you're really, really, really smart. And um, 
Yeah, would you buy it? Should you buy it? Sure, you could. Again, it's not a huge challenge. It's gonna take you a couple minutes, maybe under a minute to solve it once you get used to it. But it's still fun. It doesn't take like five seconds nor two hours to solve. So it's cool, it's great. And I hope you guys will buy it. If you do, let me know guys what you think about it. And again guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please like the video, subscribe, share, go check out my Facebook page and my Twitter. All the links are below the video in the description. And again guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.